last fight with Kevin was a good fight. Last fight started really slow. Waited too long to get going, and by the time I got going, I was too far behind on the scorecard. Catch him, sweep. That'll score nicely for him. I'm not too impressed with my performance. I still feel like I won, but that's why I will match him too, because I need to really solidify who's the better of the two of us. If there's any question, I'm not satisfied. This fight, you guys can expect to see a big difference. A lot of tactical improvements. I plan on fighting my style this fight. I'm never not fighting my style again. I'm gonna be going all out like I always do, making exciting fights whether he wants it or not. You know, he can quit or he can fight me back. That's all in the really choices he's got. I feel like I'm the number one fighter in North America. Two styles clashing to make an exciting fight. The last one's close. This one's not gonna be as close. I'm gonna come out on top again. We welcome you back to the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino here in Las Vegas. Lion fight 13 Muay Thai, and it's time for the rematch we've all been waiting for. Matt Embre and Kevin Ross. Once again, let's go up to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our next bout. Time to welcome our next two fighters. So please welcome Matt Embre. from Ontario, Canada, Matt Embry has never lost a rematch. Said that he scored the first fight between him and Ross, four rounds to one in his favor. The leads that Ross will press him from the opening bell. Says there's no new tricks here tonight, but he's gonna bring back some old tricks. Go back to the basics. That's how he beats Kevin Ross. Matt Embry, Pat, has all the weapons. Yes, he does, and he knows how to use them all. He very experienced guy, good hands, really good kicks. He did an exceptional job of catching kicks last time against Ross and booting that leg out from underneath him. And definitely landed a lot of elbows. I'm sure he'd love to land a lot of them tonight also. Embrace sealing the ring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Kevin Ross. You can run on for a long time. Run on the soul assassin, Kevin Ross. Two and two in line fights. They all came to a decision. He says tonight, he will knock out Embry. He says he was 20% last time they fought, he's 120% tonight. And like Embry, he has never lost a rematch, and he's won every rematch by KO. Kevin Ross says he's the best Muay Thai fighter in North America, Pat. Well, I'm a little bit partial, I have to be honest. I, Kevin Ross is right now my favorite Muay Thai fighter from America. I've always really enjoyed watching this guy. It's impossible not to enjoy his style. He always goes on the attack, and when he opens up, he is a killer. Beautiful hands, great flexibility, and a warrior. May Talon take for our co-main events. The elder statesman here, Kevin Ross, by eight years. Both men stand 5'10", nothing in the weight. Two inch reach in the arms to Ross, but three inches in the legs to the Canadian. Our experts fight game. Kicks to Embry, punches to Ross. Knees are even, elbows are even, power is even. Last fight was very close. Let's see how this one goes down. Ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, a Lion Fight Promotions proudly presents our co-main event of the evening, the rematch, scheduled for five rounds in the welterweight division. Judging this bout will be Janitro Camillo, Patricia Morris Jarman, and Dave Moretti. Once again, our referee in charge, Steve Mazzagatti. Fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the blue camouflage trunks and he weighed in at 142 and a half pounds. His professional record, 29 victories, five defeats with eight wins by knockout. He comes to us from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Matt Embry. 
And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He wears the powder blue trunks. He weighed in at 142 pounds. His record at 26 victories, 10 defeats, nine big wins by knockout. From Dublin, California, introducing the Soul Assassin, Kevin Ross. All right, gentlemen, we all want a good, clean, fair fight. Obey my command, protect yourself at all times. Now hook them up. Steve Mazzagardi, final instructions. Both then go to the corners. We'll see the removal of the monk on a quick prayer. A breath to the hair. There it is. And the monk will be placed on the corner post. Embra, who won last time. Okay. Kevin Ross who needs to get in the winner's circle. Always exciting fights with Ross. He says he will knock out Embra here tonight. Ross says he has never felt better. He says he had the best training camp of his career. And we're about to see this much anticipated rematch. Inside leg kick from Ross. Double jab right hand. Ross. Inside leg again from Kaya. Starting faster than he did last time. He talked about that. Ross with the jab. Wants to pressure Embray early, not allow Embray to set his rhythm. Inside leg kick from Ross. Right hand lead. Good inside leg kick again. It's Kevin Ross scoring in the early get go. Picking away, looking for those openings. Good front kick from Embry. Nice turning right hand from Kevin Ross. Inside leg kick again. It's been a prime weapon for him so far. Embry tried to fire that counter left hook and missed. First minute of the opening round going to Kevin Ross. Range finding with the jab. There's the counter right hand off Embray's round kick. Both men do have succulent tattoos on their backs. Very painful tattoo to get. Jab outside leg kick from Ross. Snapping inside leg kick from Ross. Embray can be a bit of a slow starter though, Pat. Yeah, but I think in this fight he needs to pick up the pace and keep up with Ross. He can't be giving rounds away. Fake levels there. Good inside lead kick from Embray. Then goes to the outside lead leg. And a front kick off the lead leg. Ross downward elbow. Ross, good sidestep. Outside leg kick. Already the lead leg of Embray is bludgeoned red. Might try to get a look at that between oh. rounds when they go to the corner. And the Embry elbows start. Embray very dangerous in the clinch, as we saw last time. And Steve Mazzagardi breaks it. Check from Embry, got to start to protect that lead leg. Nice high knees from Embry to the left rib cage. And Ross gets dunked. I think Vance got the big screen. There's 13 seconds on the clock. Kevin Ross, good combination. Yep, finished with a kick. Very nice. Yeah, Ross was looking up at that screen right as he got launched there. The rematch has begun. Open, pump the fists into the air. Who won that one, Pat? I think I've got to go with Ross. He just stayed a little bit busier. Although Embry landed some really nice kicks. There's Kevin just kicking with the foot there. Embry got back enough to avoid the shin bone digging in. And uh, Embry's leg taking a little bit of a beating. Nice color to it already. First round damage from Kevin Ross on the elite guy of Matt Embry.
get more break, more break timing more. So I tell me good now, you timing better than him. Now break him timing down, looking, looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. Okay? Looking for it. Let's go, boys. That's it. Kieran right. Fitzgibbons and the crew in the corner of Kevin Ross. Ross took the first round, 10-9. Ross comes out jabbing. Both men trade leg kicks. Inside leg from Embry. Checks a low kick. Embry's got to protect that lead leg. Double forearm guard from Ross. And Ross going to town again. Embry thought about switching stars to Southport. Eats it up that outside leg kick. Man, nice little long uppercut there. Kevin Ross looking on points here tonight. Charles has stepped through back elbow. Now the clinch up and pull the head down. Embro with the knee. Nice knee again from Embro. Digging his head in there on Ross. Trying to control position there. Tried to kill the left knee up to the jawline. Neither man able to snake the double arms through. Embro almost there and Ross sensed it and drifted out of the clinch. Body shot from Kevin Ross. Good two to the lead lead from Embry, trying to push that knee back. Good catch and sweep. Got the catch part. There's the sweep. Good jab outside by kick. Bread and butter combination here for Ross. Little shot. The old Andy Sauer specialty. I do like how Kevin's coming ahead in this, coming forward in this fight a lot more than last time. Jab from Ross. Embray backs him into the neutral corner. Embray with the knee to the waist. Trying to pull the heads out here. Has the full tie. Clean shot, Embray. Good crossing elbow, just under the right eye. Only from about three or four elbows total. Though. And Ross just threw into the canvas like yesterday's garbage. Beautiful execution with a dump there by Kevin Ross. Yeah, that was beautiful, man. Perfect timing on it. Step through knee from Embra. And look at the way Embra chambers that right knee. Ross taps him again. Kevin Ross in control. Blocking that leg and torquing. Nice rotation to get him off his feet. Being dumped is not only physically depleting, but also mentally draining. The fact that you've got to pick yourself up off the canvas time and time again. A little demoralizing. Another very good round here for Ross. Digs in that little shot. Gets to the inside to avoid the right hand. Crossing elbows from Ember. Knee guard put on there by Ross. End of the round. Ross also doing a good job going to the body in that round, landing some nice liver shots. Beautiful. You don't do that twice. Look at me. He is just trying to slow me. Ross on that nice long uppercut, and then the low kick followed up. Good little stuff. Also, he does a good job of following up with the leg after the punch on the same side. Embry missing that uh, that sweep there. He tried for it and then finally got it. Ross paid him back later in the round, though. Perfect timing, one foot on the ground. Now, we asked yesterday both guys who their hero was. Kevin Ross said Arturo Gatti. And Embry said Goku from Dragon Ball Z. 2018 after two for the Soul Assassin. Kevin Ross in control here. Comes out jabbing and attacking that lead leg that looks like it's been barbecued. Embre looking for a dump. Good jab again from Ross. Embre with the right hand. A lot of pretty cool technical work going on between these two in the clinch. You can see all the maneuvering and blocking out that they're doing. Good elbow, tried to lop his ear off with that one. Oh, tried to take his nose off with that one. He trapped the wrist of Ross. You could see that one coming before he launched it. Break clean, break clean, break clean. 
High knees from both men. A Ross getting the better of this exchange. Alba off the left from the Canadian Embry. Great clean, great clean, great clean. Step back, step back, step back. Ross wanted to step through with a back elbow. Embry tries to launch his right elbow. Both men trading knees now. Embry getting the better of that exchange. Ross just shrugs him off. Yeah, Ross has tried that a couple times. He's also trying to block the leg and dump Embry. But uh, Embry's wise, wise to it and getting out of the way of it. Almost at the halfway point of this third round of five. We've got a two-round to zip in favor of Kevin Ross. Embry with a knee, a solid one. He launched that one. Crossing elbow from the Canadian. Now Embry, starting to fire some heavy artillery. Embry starts to bounce on his feet when he's going to throw something, whether it's a knee or an elbow. Watch him start bouncing and then he throws. Embry scoring with this tight technique on the inside. Elbows and knees. Another elbow from Embry to the jaw. This is the fight that Embry wants. Looking for a dump. Much better round here for Embry. Absolutely, Pat. yeah. This, this is, just, like I said, the, he's slowing Ross down, keeping Ross from outboxing him right now, landing those elbows in the clinch. Embry did say that was his game plan. Keep locked on the clinch with the knees and elbows. Don't stay at range. And he stayed at range in the opening rounds. He got that leg tenderized. Here in the third, where he's managed to clinch up, it's been Embry's game. Good knee again. That one to the kidney region of Ross. And Mazzagati breaks it. Ross working the angles. And again, trying to change it up here. Shake the gumball machine. Elbow from Embry. Two rounds to go. Much better round for Embry that time around. Do me a favor, do me a favor, like I was saying, this is the type of fight that Embry wants. He launched that knee. That one hit very, very hard into Ross's midsection. And also did a good job landing elbows in here. See how he's tying up, getting inside, controlling the arm, trapping the wrist, and then throwing the elbow over the top. He's very good at that inside game. Don't race me with him. Don't race me with him because you get a tire, okay? Put down, down like a sock, down like a knee, okay? Don't race me, okay? Many pieces to me, okay? Okay. And then keep on that leg, double that leg kick. Interesting that he does not want to play. He's tired. He's got a few seconds. And then you're on. This is yours. Inter interesting that Embry's corner was telling him not to wrestle with him, not to clinch up with him when he's doing quite well in there with the elbows and knees. So that's surprising for me. I agree, Pat. I'm very surprised. That's where Embry's found his rhythm, and he won the round with the clinching. Let's see if Embry listens to the corner. Ross opens up, jabbing and leg kicking, as he does for all rounds so far. Embry is looking for the clinch here. This is where it was effective in the third round. Yeah. Well, Embry ignoring his corner's advice here, moving straight into the clinch up. Well, obviously you get affirmation of your work in the third round from the clinch, landing all those elbows and knees. It's hard not to go back to it. Good knee again from Embry off the left leg. Kevin Ross breaks up. Embry winning the exchanges in the clinch. Spinning back elbow from Kevin Ross. The guy's not afraid to try stuff, is he? He was brilliant, exciting against Yamato, even though he didn't get the win on Fremont Street. It was one of the fights of 2013. Round kick from Embry goes up. Ross goes down. Good check from Embry. trying to force Ross to fight his fight. Beautiful left elbow and a dump there from Embre. That'll score for him. Got the glove trapped here on the corner. Embre winning the exchanges in the clinch. Ross winning it from Ryan. 
How will the judges score? Umbra looks like he's the more tired of the two. Clutch and sweep, gets a takedown. Ross did the work for him and just said heck with it and jumped down before he got his legs booted out. Zagardi breaks him, underhooks there from Embry. Ross feeling good right now. I think he thinks Embry's tired. Embry was holding onto that clinch when the referee was trying to break him, which might send the signal that he's tired. Oh, Ross, how just my feet. Embry flies back with the knee into the rib cap. Heard the air leave uh, Kevin Ross on that one. This is going to be a hard round to score. Ross has had the ranging technique. Embrace had it on the inside. Both men swing with elbows, looking to cut each other. Knee from Kevin Ross, end of the round. Ross doing a good job, little front kick to the face. Embry catching the, catching the leg and then driving him back into the corner. There's again, a nice placement on that. But uh, Embry went back to work on him, drove him back into the ropes and fired a real nice knee into Ross's body. Take control, create space. Look at Noom. It's very close, it's so close, you have to show the clear. Okay, I'm at eight like five, man. Okay, Mary, you hear me? Nothing, so nothing. Embrace Corner telling him it is a very close fight, and Embray is blowing a little heavy. He did look like he was puffing and puffing in there. Ross's corner telling him to separate and keep distance and box, which I think is great advice. Got to stop Embry from clinching with him. Fifth and final round, still in one spike for the taking here. Ross opens up at range. Embry wants to lock down with him. Well, you talk about a desire to get into the clinch. Ross bouncing around the balls of his feet. Embry a little more flat-footed, wants to clinch up again, and he does. There's the knee from Embry. Can he find an elbow here? Another nicely chambered knee. And again to the waist of Ross. Not really turning the point of the knee in, however. Still they'll score, though, for Embry. Yeah, Embry's on a mission to get into these clinches. And he gets the dump. The fourth round was a hard one to score. We gave it a drawn round. And again, we're seeing this contrast. Ross at range, Embry in close. Ross's corner is saying that Embry's tired. Embry knows what works for him and he's trying to stick to it. Good elbow scores. Slipped it in nicely after the uh, knees to the body. Ross can't get sucked into this game. Embry being smart here. As a guard, he breaks them immediately after Embry throws a clean knee pad. It makes no sense. You want to have a talk with Mazzagati after the show? I really do. Okay. Knee from Ross. Looks for a takedown. Now he can separate them, Steve. There you go. Overhand right. He wades in for another clinch here. Just about knee from Kevin Ross. Embry wants him in the corner, lands a nice snake. He's got to try and catch Embry coming in with elbows and stuff when, he, when he's reaching for that clinch. And, and again, Embry snakes the double hand and immediately Mazzagati breaks them. Some terrible refereeing here from Mazzagati. Embry takes him down. Ross is getting mad. Oh, he clips it. Sportsmanship there though, they touch gloves, uppercut from Ross. Under 30 seconds remaining now. Bit of a Donny Brook here in the fifth and final. 
Kevin Ross with the maze now. Ross is scoring. Yeah, if you're going to be in the clinch, turn him and put him on the ropes and get to work. Again, Mezzagati breaks them, denying Ross the chance to land more knees. A fantastic fight. They got his glove, babe. has it two points to Matt Embray. Oh, sorry, two points to Kevin Ross, says Pat Milicic. I've got it one point to Kevin Ross. On my scorecard, 10-9, 10-9, Ross. 10-9, Embry in the third. Fourth and fifth, I had even. So we both gave it to Ross. Pat by two, myself by one. How did you score it, folks? We want to know. Tweet us at Chevello Voice at Pat Miller Kitchen at Access TV Fights. A ripper of a five rounder. Close. Some uh, shonky refereeing there, of course. There's something they really need to address here in Nevada. Not allowing the clinch to be going on for long enough. It's part of Muay Thai, folks. You've got to let the fighters set their shots. Okay. Let's go to Jake Gutierrez. Well, to wait, rematch, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. <laughs> Judge Patricia Morris Jarman scored the bout, a 48 47 in favor of Ross. Judge Dunichiro Kamijo scores it, 48-47 in favor of Embry. And Judge Dave Moretti scored the bout, 48-47 for the winner by split decision, the sole assassin, Kevin Ross. He's never lost a rematch. Kevin Ross takes it by the closest of margins. Victory for the sole assassin. And he's going to be joined now. Pat's got him. All right, Kevin Ross still unbeaten in rematches. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was good. You know, obviously I would have liked to come out with a stoppage to make it a little more uh, clear, but, you know, it takes two people to have a really great fight. And he wanted to clinch, and that's his game, and I can't uh, knock him for it, but it, it kind of slowed the fight down and made it a little more difficult to get the Yeah, I was, I was going to say how frustrating was that for you because we know you wanted to box. He wanted to be on the outside, use the angles and the speed. Yeah, you know, I was hoping, you know, when he said he wanted to come out and brawl with me, I, was, I knew he wouldn't, but I was hoping he would at least want to for a minute, but I knew it would change. And he'd go to what he does well, which is clinch people up, and that's part of the sport, so, you know, you got to be good at all aspects of it. Did you feel he was tiring toward the end of the fight a little bit? Yeah, for sure. Um, but it was also, you know, with that pace and that rhythm, it was hard to get shots off and be clean with somebody just rushing in on you and just trying to grab you. You know, it makes it an ugly fight. Right. Congratulations on getting back in the win column, brother. Kevin Ross, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Ross victorious.